universal fucking entities, welcome to the She Wizard Show. So, this is something I'm going to fucking do from now on, because I've noticed that I actually end up talking to people about articles that I read on fucking Reddit or anywhere else. So, I've decided what I'm going to do is a little segment called News. So, basically, what news is, is me talking about an article I found that day, or something like that. So, here we go. So, the first article is about this fucking Mexican congresswoman named Martha Orta Rodriguez. The stupid fucking woman. Actually, the stupid fucking person. We'll just cut fucking, we'll keep sex right out of it. The stupid fucking person thinks that it's a good idea to go and ban memes because they may be hurtful or fucking humiliating to some people. So, it's a form of criticising. It's a meme. I'm sure it's just another form of fucking English literacy, man. There, there's other forms as well. Puns and fucking lightotes and fucking, I don't know, whatever else. You know, satire. You know, all that sort of shit. It's all the same. And a meme is just another one of those things. So, to ban a form of English language, as a meme is, even though it's new, and you may not agree with me, but it's now a form of English language. Um, yeah, it's just another form of comedy and criticism. So, you can't really ban it. Uh, it's stupid to think you can even ban anything on the internet to, be to begin with. Look how long they've been fighting against fucking piracy. That's never going to fucking happen. Um... You know, and look, it's just, there's so many things on the internet that would never happen anywhere else. It's like, the other day there's this other situation with, um, I, I don't know the guy's name. Um, I might do a, a, a quick look. Okay, so in the case of uh, Brock Turner, like, his sentence was dealt lightly, and it, it was unfair. So what the community did was basically out him as like this judge was completely fucking obviously fucking uh, not impartial so he was tilted towards to help the kid he said he would destroy his life but it seems to he destroyed his own life when he decided to fucking rape a girl like, and it wasn't, no, just some fucking, oh, she said yes, and we had sex. No, it's like he was fucking an unconscious girl, apparently. And these two people were so horrified that actually fucking helped them that they, they were crying after when they were, were, they were telling the police what actually happened. So it's pretty fucking horrific. Any of that shit, you can't get rid of it on the net. And I think sometimes people deserve it. I really don't think this Mexican Congress woman really understands what she's doing. Well, I mean, to even think that you can try and ban something like a meme, you mustn't have even experienced the internet like that. Like, why do you even care about it? Just f fuck off. It's... You don't understand it, but you want to ban it because you're scared of it. Now you're a meme. You're an idiot. You just made yourself a fucking meme. This morning you were on the front page of Reddit, man. You're fucked now. That was a stupid thing to do. Very stupid thing to do, lady. Your right, two things are going to happen now. You're going to go loony and try and fight. Or you're going to back down. And I think it would be wise of you to probably back down rather than fight and go loony. Because... Really, do you have to fucking control this shit? It's probably a religious thing. It always is. Well, I've talked about it enough. You go and, uh, I'll put a link to one of the articles. I'll select it random from fucking various websites in the description. So, go and read it for yourself, see what you think. Tell me in your comments if you think any different, but she's a stupid fucking idiot. How, how how many people will have to do this before they fucking learn? You can't fight the internet because it's not anything you can actually get at. It's everywhere. Goodbye. Oh, thank you.
Tell it on my creature. <laughs>